from cancer. Well, tributes have been pouring in, including one from President Obama. Our technology correspondent, Rory Kethlin Jones, is here. Um, Rory, he had such a massive impact on the computing world. And, and his death has had a massive impact today, hasn't it? Uh, it's extraordinary. Really. You can't think of another business leader. Mm. Cause let's, let's not forget, he was a, a uniquely successful businessman as well as uh, a very successful technologist. You can't think of another business leader whose passing would occasion this sort of wave of, uh, uh, of grief, really, mm. uh, through the sort of technology com community and beyond. Uh, I think this is interesting. This is uh, Apple's website today. Uh, shown on an iPad, one of uh, Steve Jobs' creations. Uh, tells you a lot, really. The tablet computer, it was him that said people will want these. Uh, lots of They never do any market research, Apple. They just go ahead and do whatever they want to do. He said people will want tablet computers. He was proved right. And the way that his company has uh, referenced his death on its website in that extraordinary simplicity. Mm. Um, it says something about the sort of design genius uh, of the company. Uh, vegetarian, Buddhist, also known to be quite ruthless in a way. What was the secret of his success? He was uh, pretty ruthless, a very difficult man to work for. There's a story about a product uh, that Apple produced that didn't go too well and he summoned the team in and said you all ought to hate each other for, mm. for damaging this company. Um, and it was that in incredible focus and that gift for knowing what people wanted from products before they did. For, uh, we, we've just been hearing from his co-founder of Apple, uh, Steve Wozniak, who was probably uh, the better technology brain, but he says uh, Steve Jobs just knew instinctively what would work and what wouldn't, mm -hmm. when he needed to be ahead of the curve and when maybe he needed to wait and mm -hmm. follow. Don't forget that a lot of the Apple products weren't the first of their kind, but they redefined that market. So. The iPod wasn't the first MP3 player, but uh, nobody was using them until it came along and transformed the market. Can Apple continue to produce products like this without Steve Jobs at the helm? Well, I think it can for a while. I, 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 there, there are other very talented people there, notably the British designer Jonathan Ive, who's behind products like this uh, and, and many others. Uh, there's a very uh, skilled and experienced man in charge, Tim Cook, who's very good at the logistics of it, the nuts and bolts of the business. The bigger question is, will it continue to take the risks mm. to be frankly, uh, as bloody-minded as Steve Jobs was in, in going off on a different path. Mm. He needed that persistence too because it's a remarkable up-and-down story. He started the company, got kicked out by the company, and he came back and rescued it. That's right. Right, right uh, from 1985 to 1997, he was off doing other things, and Apple was gradually uh, disappearing down a hole. When he returned, it was, you know, almost extinct. Um, he did have his ups and downs. Not all of his products succeeded. There were a few notable failures on the way. There was something called... Uh, the Newton, there was something called the Cube, uh, which didn't take off. Um, but in, in the long run, his instincts and that ability to think in the long term served the company very well. Mm. Right. Rory, very thanks. thanks very much. Time